here's a test of my salt replacement board. Here's the salt chip from my Coco 2 board. And this is a clone. Okay. And uh, I think I'm going to call the board the pepper board. And pepper, obviously, because that's salt and, you know, whatever. So the idea is that it will plug in to the socket where the salt chip goes. All right. And so it goes right in there. So. This is not in the picture anymore. We are no longer using this. I just haven't removed it from the board yet, but it does not work. It is not connected. So it should power up. And it did. Okay. And I'm going to write a small program. Hello, Pepper. And I will run it just for kicks. It doesn't need to run for the test that I'm going to do. I will break it. And then the test that I want to do, I just want to show you that, you know, there's a program listed in memory. I'm going to do an L list to send it to the printer, which it would usually do through the RS-232 port. Uh, but there is no printer connected. I just have another computer with a terminal program with PuTTY open configured to be a printer. So when I do an L list, it'll send it out through the RS-232 port, which is controlled by the, you know, by the salt chip or the pepper board, and it will list it on the other computer. And let's go look at this other computer right there. I already have PuTTY set up and configured. I'm going to hit enter, and boom, and there it is. There's a program I just wrote if it will ever focus. Okay. Well, that is terrible. That's fine. And so, now I want to test. I have block D loaded here, uh, the wave file. I want to test the zero cross detector, zero crossing detector, which I, uh, I get, well, I didn't guess. I made an educated guess as to how I would implement it wasn't sure if I needed a, uh, an inverted zero crossing detector or a non-inverted. I went with the non-inverted after some videos that I saw and after a couple of, uh, actually a video that uh, AC put out. And so, hold on a second, just for kicks. Just to make sure there's nothing there, all right. I know it's C load N. Okay, and it's waiting. Over here, I will play it. And let's see. Yeah. See if it loads. It detected the header, block D. And. Dun, da, da, da. It worked. The zero crossing detector worked. So. And the relay was clicking, so that works. So basically everything I set out to do with the salt chip replacement board, the pepper board, uh, I did. So it powers the board, it powers the Coco 2. Uh, the zero crossing detector works. It, um, it activates the relay, the cassette relay, and the RS-232 port works. Um, yeah, now all I need to do is just run it for a while uh, make sure it works. Um, it does get a little warm, but you can keep your finger on it and it won't burn you. It's nowhere near the temperature that this uh, uh, linear regulator, voltage regulator, got to. You know, this is, I mean, this is nowhere near. It's a switching regulator. It's much more efficient. Here's the game. So, it's running a game. I'm happy. This is a good test. This is a really good test. Um, you know what? Just for kicks. Let's see where this game starts. So 
Leyland Reese. There we go. And it does. Good test.